All right, today we're working on a, uh, a 2012 Ford F-150. Um, this one's got the V8 engine in it. Um, and we were pulling the oil pan so we could do the oil pan gasket. Um, apparently it's pretty common on these to leak from the, um, the rear area of the oil pan gasket around the back. You'll see a lot of oil around the back from here and a lot of oil dripping from this back plate area right here. Um, so uh, basically that's what we're doing today. So I wanted to show a quick little video of how to uh, get to it. Um, it looks pretty difficult on the four-wheel drive models just because there's a lot of stuff in the way, but it's actually a lot easier than it seems. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take off your sway bar. Um, I just unbolted it here at the sway bar in link um, on both sides. And then unbolt the, uh, I believe they're 15 millimeter bolts here, and take down the whole sway bar and take it out. Then you're also going to remove this cross member right here. Um, there's two bolts on this side two on that side and uh, just pull that cross member out um, and then that's going to give you plenty of room back there <clears throat> and then what you're going to want to you're, you're going to have to drop the front differential because it's tucked too close to the pan there's no way to get the pan out um, without dropping it down <clears throat> so there's three bolts that hold in the front differential you've got one on the passenger side right here uh, it tucks right up in here into this area one bolt here and then on the driver side, you've got two bolts. One here, uh, this one will push up into that position right there. Uh, let me get some light. Uh, so one bolt there. And then there's gonna be one bolt at the top that is more difficult to get to. Um, let me see if I can. It's right there, so. This one right here is where you're going to have to uh, take out. Um, on the back of here, it has a uh, basically a nut that kind of stays in place with a little uh, washer piece. So you don't have to touch that side. You basically just take it out from the front. And I found the easiest way to get to that is to come from the front, take down your uh, access panel right here, the uh, plastic. And from, from this angle here, There we go. Okay, so right here you can see that you can you be able to access this bolt just to the left of the steering shaft. Um, so you'll need a couple of long extensions come from the front, and you'll be able to uh, access that bolt. Um, so with those three bolts down or out, all you got to do is uh, put a pole jack or something underneath your diff here, and slowly lower it down. You're basically going to drop it until the the section of the differential here just kind of rest on this L shape of the frame. Um, just make sure you keep your jack in place, but uh, it's just going to kind of rest there. Um, and from there, you should be able to access all of your oil pan bolts. And you'll just kind of have to wiggle and work the pan out, and uh, you should be able to drop it no problem. Um, one more thing is you're going to also have to remove the bolt that holds the bracket on your transmission lines right over here. Um, that gives you enough wiggle room to move those aside to be able to access your oil pan bolts on the passenger side. And uh, reinstallation is just the reverse of all of that. <laughs> 